19-year-old Brenna Kalin has many passions, dancing and hanging with friends, her art, which she's studying in college, and her job at Trader Joe's. I absolutely love it. My managers, my captain, so, so amazing. Brenna is also amazing, coping with serious health issues. Brenna had both kidneys removed at age 11, but a transplant gave her a chance at normal life. When I uh, woke up, I instantly felt a difference. I felt like I could run and jump and do everything that I didn't have the energy before. That was eight years ago. Dr. Dechu Pulianda has been managing Brenna's care. It was a very successful transplant. She's done extremely well after transplant. Recently, Dr. Pulianda suspected some kidney injury. Her traditional markers, which is the serum creatinine, was rock stable. Um, and if we had, we had only looked at uh, the serum creatinine as uh, the marker of the stability of her graft, we would have actually been fooled because we would have thought that, you know, she's doing extremely well. But Dr. Puliander went a step further, using an adult blood test known as Alishore on Brenna, a first for a pediatric patient. What the Alishore is, is... As soon as there's injury to the transplanted kidney, which we call the allograft, it releases into the bloodstream of the recipient a lot of DNA material, which can then be recovered from the recipient and analyzed, and that is a very important marker of kidney injury. The test turned up what they call smoldering rejection for Brenna's kidney. It's kind of a rejection that's happening behind the scenes where it is slowly deteriorating the kidney. But while that's happening, especially in the beginning, all of the other numbers look good. So this is a great test because if you can catch it early and you can stop it, you can extend the life of the kidney, which is exactly what Cedars is trying to do. Dr. Pulianda and her colleagues published a paper on using the Alishore test for pediatric patients, and other hospitals are now following suit. Brenna is now undergoing monthly infusions to stop any further rejection and save her kidney. I think that she has a pretty good prognosis. Now that we've actually been able to identify that uh, she has she had the small ring rejection and the fact that we're able to treat it and keep it at bay, I think that uh, for all of those reasons, she has an excellent prognosis. I hope someday I'll be able to be independent and uh, to be able to do things on my own. So that's what I, I hope to do. That's my hero, that girl. That's my hero. She just aspires to live a full, exciting life where she can do all the things that everybody else does. You know, having that kidney transplant is allowing her to do that.